All right, hopefully we're ready to start now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Class? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, okay. just me? No, what? Come on. Come on. Make me feel it. Let's get a good one here, because there's going to be like a grip of people that are not here that are watching this video later on. So you guys are projecting for them, too. I hate those people. I know. They decided not to show up. Bunch of slackers. Wait, wait, All right. People? Uh, uh, so, I, whatever it is. All right, let's try this game. Class. Yes. All right. Nah, it's fine. fine. I forget it. Uh, today, yes. everyone just had. They went to Starbucks and got their depresso. See what I did there? That's just decaf espresso. Yeah. See, see what I did? Yeah. It, it's yeah. depresso instead of espresso. Because uh -huh. yeah. Anyway. All right. You guys wrote down the homework. Yeah. Good. Because that's what good students do. And so from here, some of the differences uh, for those people that are trying to play along at home. Um, you need the reference sheet, which not really needed. And I'll show you the differences. So on the reference sheet, I believe they use S and T. On the formulas here, I believe it uses A and Bs. So it's just two angles that they're adding together. So they're just different variables. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's this one here, which is one of them. Here we go. All right. This one uses A's and B's. This is the formula that we're going to start off with. Now, it's almost like you should know at this point the unit circle. You should know these values. So we're going to take known values to find unknown values. Find the exact value of cosine 15. Is 15 on the unit circle? No. No. It's not on the unit circle, is it? But using either addition or subtraction, addition or subtraction, we're either going to add two known values or subtract known values to get 15. What two known values can I put together to get 15? 30 and 45. 30 and 45, right? That would be good, so 30 and 45. So you're saying it would be 45 40. minus 30. So to find the cosine, it's going to be the cosine of 45 minus 30. So here, in this term, my A value is 45, my B value is 30. Yes? Now, the formula that goes along with that says that I'm going to have cosine, cosine, plus sine, sine. So cosine of my first one. So cosine of 45 times cosine of 30 plus sine of 45, sine of 30. And again, knowing your unit circle is what's going to make this a lot easier, make life, you know, easy. Yeah, anyway. All right. Cosine of 45. So off the top of the dome, what is cosine 45? Uh, two, uh, rad 2 over 2. Rad 2 over 2. Cosine of 30? Uh, rad 3 over 2. Okay, so. I know I, I, it's getting super quiet at this point. If you need your unit circle out right now, go ahead, take that one out too. But like I said, the process, the practice, I want you guys practicing this, you should be able to spit these out. Okay, like it's hot fire. Like, like you're, you're, you're a rapper on open night night. Okay, gotta spit hot fire there. Did he, did he want to spit hot fire? Okay, so let's keep going then. So plus, what is sine 45? 
Very good. Rag two over two. And sign of 30. There you go. And now, we're doing the multiplication. And we multiply fractions straight across, don't we? Yes. So, rad 2 times rad 3, since they're both radicals, I multiply the insides together. Right. If they're not radicals, if you have one radical and non-radical, they just go together. Yeah. You would treat it like the radical as if it was a variable. So, rad 2 times rad 3 is rad 6 over 2 times 2. Yep. Plus, rad 2 times 1. Rad 2 over 2 times 2. Very good. And, do these have common denominators? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. So, since they have common denominators, what do I need to do? I need to combine them, right? Combine them. Are you missing this one? Um, second drawer. So I'm going to combine this. So my answer comes out to be rad 6 plus rad 2 over 4. Uh, it's up front. Find it? Yeah, okay. Huh? Notes. Alright, any questions on that? Is that pretty simple there? It's not bad, right? Not bad. Oh, not bad. This is better than what we were doing last. Alright. But wait, there's more. Alright, now, serious question. What makes this one complicated? The the pi, right? Oh, and the fact that it's not like a degree. It's not a degree, right? Yeah. So the addition and subtraction is not very easy if you're not good with fractions. I'm not, like seriously, over the last four or five years, every generation, every class coming through here, people are less and less comfortable with fractions. So can we convert this to degrees? Yeah, let's do that. Let's convert it to degrees because that's all it's going to need to be able. I just need to figure out where that's at in the unit circle, right? That's what we're going to do. So from here, convert it to degrees. So how would I convert 5 pi over 12? Multiply by, which is it? What do you want to cancel? Think about this. What do you want to cancel? You got to get rid of the pi. Yeah. Almost. Oh yeah, because yeah, you want to cancel the pi. I I agreed. You're like, oh yeah, but then said the yeah, said it backwards. Anyway, I want to cancel the pi. So think of it like that. If you want to cancel the pi, the pi has to go on the bottom. Thank you. So 180 over pi. That will cancel, and I'm left with. Uh, a lot. Five, what's that? Uh, what do I mean, 900? And divided by 12. Uh, let me see. That must be 900, though. Or am I stupid? Yeah. And don't forget, divided by 12. <laughs> divided by what, 12? Yeah. Oh. Six. Oh, seven, I just put 12 in my calculator. Seven, five, 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 two, seven, 15. So. Uh, divided by 12 is 75. Oh, 75 degrees? Yeah, 75 okay, degrees. good. All right, comes out to be 75 degrees. And you can just leave it as is? Yeah, because all I need to know is where is this angle located at, right? All right, and since our math is a little bit easier like this, now using addition or subtraction, what two known values can I use to get 75? Sixty and ninety. How would you get seventy-five from sixty and ninety? Say it again. You get thirty from that. You get thirty from that, right? One thirty-five minus sixty. One thirty-five minus sixty. Would that work? Yeah. 
135 minus 60 would work? Or you could just do 45 and 30. 45 and 30. Does that work? Yeah. Are you guys seeing what we're doing? So you could use anything for this. Kevin? Did, did I lose you on that? Are you good? You could add it or subtract. The answer is going to be equivalent, but it might look differently if you use something else. So like on the previous example, you might have actually used different numbers than what we use right here. So it's possible that your answer could have been rad 2 plus rad 6 over 4. Would that be equivalent to the same answer? Yes. It's equivalent to the same thing. All right. There. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go for the sake of argument to try and make this easy as possible. The smaller numbers you use, the easier it is. So let's use stuff in quadrant one whenever possible. So that's going to be 45 and 30. So if this is a cosine, cosine of 45 plus 30, I write that out. And then my formula, where'd you run for cheap? Okay, I write out my formula. So it's going to be cosine 45 times cosine of 30 minus sine of 45 sine of 30. Now, before I go through and do this, I want you people to fill in the values. Fill in the values. Cosine 45, cosine 30. Fill in all those. And as I go over it, we'll verify that your stuff is right. Cosine 45 gives me rad 2 over 2 times cosine 30, which is rad 3 over 2, minus sine 45, rad 2 over 2, sine 30 is 1 half. Okay, do my multiplication again. Rad 2 times rad 3 is rad 6 over 4 minus rad 2 times 1 is rad 2 over 4 and it is common denominator so I'm going to put that together so it's going to be rad 6 minus rad 2 all over 4 now if I would have used if I would have used the 135 minus 60 your answer would have been equivalent, but it would have came out to be rad 2, negative rad 2, plus rad 6 over 4. It's equivalent to the same answer. Same thing. It just looks slightly different. Okay, I'll accept either. All right, does that make sense? Anyone questions so far? I'll let you finish writing, and then I will do, I think we have a C, we have a part C, right? Yeah. Now, part C, it gives you values. It gives you this. So now you have to look at it. Look at your formulas. Which formula, which formula uses Cosine, cosine, minus sine, C. 
sign. Which one? The second one. So what? Just say. Just say it. it's cosine of s minus t or it's not actually s minus t, but it should be a plus, right? Because if you're looking at your identities, it says cosine cosine. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And it also is in the notes back on the example right there. Okay, cosine, cosine, minus, sine, sine. Anyone else need help finding it? Uh, What's up, homie? Huh? Can I take a second on this one? No, it's okay. Who? Uh, hey. hey. Mike Belly? Mike Belly? Yes, sir. First hour? Like, first hour, first hour, or second hour, first hour? First hour. I just wanted to say what's up. Uh, Oh, okay, so I was supposed to have you yesterday. Yeah. No, but today's your first day? Yeah, today's my first day. Oh, nice to meet you. All right, excellent. Okay. All right, so the formula that this is actually using is cosine of, it's going to be what? A, right? If you're using the, the, the notes, it's A and B. If you're using the reference sheet, it's S and T. So plus B. And in this case right here, my A value is what? What is the A value here? It's 87. So it's going to say the cosine of 87 plus, what's B in this case? Say it. 93. And what am I going to do with those two values? I'm going to add these because it says add them. Why not? Why not? So 87 plus 93 is going to give me 180. So it's asking for the cosine of 180. Is that a known value on my unit circle? Yes, it is. That's a known value on my unit circle. So can I find what that is? And cosine is only asking for the x, right? It's only asking for the x. So my answer is negative one. So these problems here, they work backwards. They give you the expanded formula and you work back to what you should have had at the very beginning. Does that make sense? Good. Are we good? Okay. So questions, concerns, complaints, go ahead. What if they didn't equal one of these? They're going to. They're yeah, they're going to. On all of these problems like this, they're going to equal something that is on your unit circle. So it's not going to be like one. Yeah, it's not going to be crazy. So that's the whole point of all this is, is yeah, taking, this one's taking unknowns. You don't have 87 and 93 on your unit circle, right? When you combine those together, you're going to get a known value out of it. Make sense? All right. So what we're going to do is like, share, and subscribe. We're going to hit that notification button and support my channel. So I'm going to stop here because I want you guys to spend time and work on, uh, what are you guys working on? 5-2 is due tomorrow. Tomorrow.